Welcome to Michigan Nature. Michigan Nature is the newest exhibit here at the Ann Arbor Hands-On Museum. Why don't we take a look inside at a slice of the natural world in Michigan. Here we try to give young people the opportunity to reconnect with the outdoors. And we have a number of exhibits that illustrate and show living examples of things that you can find in your backyard, nature area, parks, and other places out of doors. Uh, this exhibit uh, contrasts butterflies and moths, and on one half we raise cecropia caterpillars, watch them spin cocoons, and then we take the cocoons and put them outside over the winter, bring them back in the spring to emerge as moths. And on the other half, we raise monarch butterflies, and uh, we raise these throughout the summer, and we release the adults so that they can continue on and fly down to Mexico for the winter. Here we have a number of interesting things. We have a mud puppy, which people rarely see. We've got bullfrog tadpoles, channel catfish, crayfish, and other organisms of the shoreline. Our two corners are showing some of the uh, trees and some of the damage caused by bark beetles in Michigan. This is an ash tree trunk and on it you can see very clearly the galleries where the emerald ash borer has been feeding. The emerald ash borer has damaged most of the trees in Washtenaw County and there are a few mature elm ash trees still living. Going all the way back across the room, uh, we have a bald-faced hornet's nest and over here, this is a large nest, uh, it's about 28 inches uh, from top to bottom and you can see the different bands and that's where they were feeding on different trees and then they paste it back together and make the nest. The queen lives in the, a log over the winter and so she is gone and we are able to collect the nest. They do not reuse the nest the next year. Painted into the walls, we, we have uh, a variety of animals that you would find. If you look around, you'll see fox, great horned owls, uh, over here, overlooking the stream, uh, we've got a kingfisher waiting for fish. We've got deer. Way down in the corner, we've got some raccoons. We've got blue jays. We've got a whole variety of birds and other animals. And then incorporated into this, you can hear the sound tracks uh, coming from all corners, from up high and down low that try to give you the feel that you've walked into a natural area. And if you're able to look up, we've even created skylights that as you look up, you feel that you're looking through the ceiling up to the uh, tree canopy above.